this video, we're going to discuss solid score lines. Now, as of roughly last November, that would be November of 2018, we began including solid score line versions of our projects. Now, in order to use solid score lines, you do need a machine that is capable of creating them. The two most common machines that we see creating these solid score lines include the Cricut Maker and the Eclipse 2. In this video, I'm going to show you how to determine which file is the solid scoreline version and also how to use it correctly. So let's take a look at one of our most recent projects that features solid scorelines. In this case, we're going to be working with the exquisite gift box. Okay, so let's take a look and open this file up. Now, it's already unzipped. Let me show you a picture of what it is. It's this guy here. It's this uh, paper Fabergé egg. And after you get everything unzipped, just like usual, you'll see the main SVG folder. Let's go ahead and double click on it and take a look inside. So inside the main SVG folder, which is what we're looking at right now, again, it's the main SVG folder, the first level in, you're going to find the traditional perforated score lines. Typically, the solid scoreline folder is going to be located in the extras folder. There may be a handful of older projects that have the solid score lines in the solid scoreline folder directly in the SVG folder. Now, for the sake of this video, we're going to assume that the solid scoreline version of this project is located in the extras folder, which 99% of the time it will be. So again, if you double click on extras, you should find the solid score lines folder. So let me show you how to do this in eCal 3. Now with eCal 3, you're gonna be doing this with your Eclipse 2. Now for those of you that have this machine, you know that you can take the entire zip file that you download from our site and literally drag and drop it onto the mat and it will automatically add this project to your library under the 3D SVG section. And you can see it here. Here's the exquisite gift box. Okay, and here's the SVG folder. Now if we go one layer further, you'll see the solid scoreline version of it. So let me bring in one of the files that contains the solid scoreline. So we can just click on the icon here, and there it is. Okay, now just to uh, kind of show you the difference, let's bring in the same file with the traditional score lines. Okay, so you can see the difference there. I'm gonna close this for now. The traditional score lines are perforated. Okay, and your machine is gonna cut them just like this. Now, the solid score lines, they're actually solid lines. Let me just zoom in a little bit so you can see that. Okay, and you can see the difference here. And these are perforated and these are solid. Now, with the perforated version, there's nothing special that you have to do. You can just go ahead and cut this. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this for now because there's nothing special that you need to know how to do with the standard perforated version. Okay, now with the solid scoreline version, if you want your Eclipse to create the score lines, now it's still gonna use the blade to do it, but it's not going to penetrate the paper completely. It's kind of gonna do a kiss cut. So you can try this out. And in order to tell your machine to do and perform this kiss cut score, you need to look at your layers here, okay? And your layers are always visible here. You can open up the layers here, and this is the main file name, and SS is the prefix for our solid score lines, SS, solid score line. And you'll have two layers, one layer being the actual score lines. Now I'm gonna turn it off and on just to show you that this is what the layer is. Okay, so I turned it off, the score lines disappeared. Turned it on, the score lines are there. This layer is the main cut layer, okay? We don't need to turn this off. I'm just doing this to illustrate how to correctly set this to score with your Eclipse. So to do that, what you wanna do is you want to select the score layer. This is the score layer. It almost looks like there's nothing there, okay? This one, you can see that there's a, a little green icon here. That's the actual cut file that we're looking at here. This one is the score layer, this one that looks blank. Now that we have it highlighted, we're gonna go and click on this little wrench. And here where it says cut line type, we're gonna change it from cut to score, okay? Now if we take a look at the preview, you can see what that did. Our cut lines are shown in red 
and our score lines are shown in green. Okay, that's how we know that we have it correct. Now, if you take a look also under the style section here, the wrench, if we have this layer highlighted, we went ahead and changed this to score. Now, if we click on the layer below it, which is the main cut layer, take a, just keep your eyes here where it says score. If we click on this, you can see that it's still at cut. So it's gonna cut what it needs to cut, and it's gonna score what it needs to score. So let's just uh, delete this, and let's bring in one more, just to show you the process. I am in the solid score line version, the folder here, and let's open up the base. Okay, I'm gonna close that for now, just to kinda create some more room here. And again, you'll notice we have the, uh, the old file still here. Let me delete that real quick, we don't need that. Here is the base, and to show the two layers, you do need to click on this little icon here, this little arrow, okay? We've opened up the folder, or the group, and now we can see the two layers. This layer that looks blank, this is the score layer, and this layer here is our cut layer. Okay, so in order to set the score layer to actually score, again, we're gonna highlight the score layer, which is this layer here, under the ss underscore main underscore lavender file. This is your file name, okay? We expand it to show the two layers. We're gonna select the score layer by clicking on this layer here, and then click on the wrench and change the cut line type to score. Okay, so let's check our work. Let's click preview, and you'll see here, everything that's gonna cut is in red, and everything that's gonna score is in green. So that's ready to go as well. So I hope that you found this video helpful. If you have any additional questions, please contact me using the contact form on the website 3dsvg.com.